So matter is anything that occupies space and has mass, such as you and me and your computer that you're watching this presentation on. We can characterize matter based on our ability to separate it. So things that we can separate physically, and by physically I just mean by hand, such as by filtering or something like that, we consider heterogeneous or non-uniform. That means it's very differently distributed. So an example of this would be, say, water and sand, where we can physically remove the sand from the water by filtering. So mixtures of two or more things that cannot be separated physically, refer, we refer to as homogeneous, where that would be like salt and water, where we can't filter the salt from the water, but we can separate them chemically, which we'll talk about in a second. So we can further characterize homogeneous materials as either solutions or pure substances. Salt and water would be a solution because they're two things mixed together, where water by itself would be a pure substance because it's just one thing and we can't purify it further physically. So we can further characterize pure substances as either compounds or elements. A compound is anything that's made up of more than one atom bonded together, it can be from one element or different elements. Whereas an element is the most basic unit of matter and we can't break that down. So if we wanted to look at these pictures and determine which one of these guys is a pure element, well, if each different kind of atom has a different color, we want to look at one where there's all the same color. So that would be A. If we wanted to look at a mixture of two elements, well, we want to look and see where you have two separate elements, but not compounds. And that would be E and F, where we can see they have spheres of two different colors there, but they're not bonded together, so we consider that a mixture of two elements and not a compound. Because remember, they have to be chemically bonded together to be a compound. If we asked, well, what would be a pure compound? That would be C, because that one, the compounds are all the same. It's all one red sphere and one blue sphere. So those would be the two kinds of elements, and we can see that each compound has exactly the same number. And lastly, a mixture of an element and a compound. Well, we can see, well, those are going to be our last two, B and D, because we see one compound there, which is your red and your blue sphere together, and then an element could be either single blue spheres, such as in D, or two blue spheres together, because remember, an element, they can be diatomic, such as H2, N2, so if it's the same atom bonded together, we still consider that an element and not a compound.